Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. So before we get started with this video, I'd just like to say, have you checked out my new computer channel? If you haven't done so yet, check it out on the link below and also I'll put a link on the screen right now. So yeah, go ahead and check out that channel. Anyway, so back to this video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a portable version of Kodi on your USB stick. So to start off with, you need to plug in your USB like I have done here. And you need to have it blank. So you need to format your USB stick. If you haven't done this yet, it's quite simple to do. Just right click on your USB stick and go to format. But bearing in mind, doing a format, it will erase all files that are on that USB. So make sure you've backed everything up on that USB. So you now need to head on over to the link that's in the description below and you'll end up on Cody's website as you can see here. And you now need to scroll down and select your weapon as they say which is going to be Windows. So we're going to do Krypton um, Cody. So we're going to now select installer. And this is going to download the installer for us. So just give it a couple of seconds and go save file. So I'm going to fast forward the video now whilst that downloads. Okay, so once you've finished downloading Kodi, you now need to run this setup file. As you can see, I'll put mine to my desktop. So I'm just going to double click that now and we're going to go next. And we want to go I agree. And we want to install the full installation of Kodi. So we're going to go ahead and press next. So this part's important. You now need to select the destination folder of your USB stick. So as you can see, mine's on the F drive. So you can simply change that to F if yours is F. And I'm just going to delete the program files and only have it so it's got Kodi. So find out your USB drive letter and then we're going to go so F backslash Kodi. And we're now going to go next and we want to go um, do not create shortcuts. Sorry. So make sure you don't create any shortcuts because we don't want any shortcuts to Kodi on our Windows system as it's not going to be on our Windows system. It's going to be on a portable USB stick. So we're going to go ahead now and press install. So just give this a couple of seconds to install. OK, so once that's finished. You now need to click on finish. Don't press run Kodi. Just leave that blank for a second. So we're going to go finish and we're going to open up this Kodi folder. So as you can see, it's got everything in here for Kodi. So the main bit that we need now is the Kodi.exe. So we're going to right click on that and we're going to go copy. And we're going to go back to our main section on our USB stick. And we're going to right click and go paste shortcut. So once you've done that, you can now rename that by hitting F2 or right clicking and go rename. And we're just going to quite simply name this Kodi. Um, we can call this Kodi Portable. That do. Right, so once you've done that, you now need to right click and go to properties. And where it says here fcody backslash cody.exe, we're going to go space and we're going to go hyphen p and we're going to hit apply. So what that what that's going to do is create a little data folder within Kodi. Um, so it's going to save all our information to our USB stick. So you need to always run it via the shortcut. And that's it pretty much. So we can now open up the .exe. And as you can see, Kodi is now booting up. And it's doing its usual thing. So we go allow access. And there you go. We now have Kodi um, portable on our USB stick. And if I go in here, you can see it's got portable data. So any data... Um, that Kodi does, it will all be stored within the portable data folder. So any add-ons, just any user data, absolutely everything will go on the USB stick. So when you go to another computer 
all your add-ons and everything will still be on that USB stick and not stored on the computer. Just make sure you run Kodi using the shortcut that we just created. So I hope this tutorial helped. If it did, hit the like button below. And like I said at the start of the video, don't forget to check out my other YouTube channel. So subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.